I may, I may have slept in a little too long. What happened with you? I mean, that is how big this pond is gonna be. That is above my shoulders and I'm 7'1". But it's crazy because they're gonna be hand mixing every single one of these bags. Heck, are you ready for that? Uh -huh, I'm ready. What is going on, fellas? Welcome back to another video. I just woke up literally five minutes ago, grabbed the camera, ran out here. Because this man Hector must have got here at 5.30 in the morning. Hector, look at this, what's going on? You, you, you're a beast. I, I, may, I may have slept in a little too long. What happened with you? Well, I went to the Dolphins game last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why you not told me? You wanted to go? No. Oh. So I'm gonna call you this morning. Oh, no, you're good. Yeah, I went to the Dolphins game. That was, what an upset. But uh, Hector's got started on the pond project and uh, early. The GoPro I left in here just wouldn't even turn on. Awesome. Regardless, fellas, we're up now. It's time to get started. Pretty much have just built walls like this. They put these two by fours on the walls and then they stick plywood on the wall. This is just pouring a frame. As you can see, Looking pretty solid so far. We've got three walls out of four. This right here is our window frame. So that's how big our window is gonna be. Is that not crazy? Look how big that is. That is our window that's gonna be right in the middle of this pond. But this is how big we're talking. This ain't a small pond, fellas. This is crazy. And as you can see, my PVC here, I used to have a hose nozzle over there. So what Hector did was run the PVC along the back so that I still have that access to water right here. Boom. We have to mark the second wall. Interior wall. Interior wall, yeah. we're pretty much building a whole nother one of, of what we got right here on the inside. And that is how thick the concrete's gonna be. What, six inches thick? Uh, five and a half. Five and a half, yeah. Put the other one from here yeah. to this way. Got it. Because we have to put this plywood inside. Okay. So this is the outside wall. And then the rebar inside that? I'm good. This pond build is a long process of pretty much just measure cut, measure cut, measure cut, measure cut. Until they build the frame, I think my favorite part though is gonna be pouring the concrete. I am stoked to see how big the freaking window is gonna be. And here we go. That wall is going in. I mean, that is how big this pond is gonna be. Pretty freaking large. Mia, what do you think of all this? What do you think of all this action, Mimi? Crazy. <laughs> Are you filming? Yeah. <laughs> He's filming the video, that's so funny. What other handyman's in the pond filming for you with a GoPro? Hector's a YouTuber, look at him. Funny thing is, I know he enjoys it because I'll go back and look through the footage and he's like explaining what he's doing. He needs his own YouTube channel. It is officially time to start getting the rebar in. Obviously, they've got the big rebar already in the pond around the sides. Now I think they're gonna go sideways diagonally with more rebar. And then you put the inside frame in, which is exactly like the outside frame, just literally this exact same thing right here. And then the concrete gets poured between tomorrow. Actually, how are we looking? Oh man, everything looks amazing. The window is going in. The window looks tiny compared to how big this pond is. And while the pond is getting built over there, my little brother Tommy, he's been working at the farm lately. Tommy is writing all of our member names that were once on the wall around the tank, now on the pond. So anyone that's an advanced member has their name on the pond. Hopefully you can find your name. It looks so cool though, it looks awesome. I'm waiting for me to drop this in. Oh! 
<laughs> Everybody, it's just a random, random feeding on the pond. So Hector's out there cutting up the rebar, and inside here we have the two other gentlemen working on all of the rebar connections. So they're literally going from connection to connection across the whole thing, making these big old squares. And then inside the squares, they'll be, uh, let's see, where is it? Right here. They will be this for extra support. Right there. So lots of support. And while the boys were in there working on that, I decided to come outside and do a little bit of landscape on the farm. Uh, trying to make it a little bit more presentable in a way. I ran out of rock, but it looks really good. I need to sod this entire area here, but I just did some rock work around the AC units. I know this is so random to show, but I know a lot of you love the progress of the yard, so this is what I just got done as they were doing that. Looks so much better, especially when sod is up to it. It's gonna look great. This is all still the same trench. Just for the power and, uh, and then we used it for the saltwater pond. This is still just hasn't grown up and over yet. Not that it really matters because I believe in the next, within the next six months, we're gonna have a full pool right here. We're gonna be building a big pool. Great for property value and not only that, I really would love a pool. Why wouldn't we want a pool next to all these beautiful animals, you know? So this yard is probably gonna be dug up again at some point. Back into here though, pond is looking good. Oh, is Hector recording? Hector is recording. That man, Hector, knows what's up. You, you know how to film, Hector? Oh, of course, man. You gotta get your own YouTube channel. Oh, that's sick. Too much money, commission for me. You know? Saltwater fish just get to watch pretty much everything go on. I mean, it's right here. Granted, this is not gonna be here, so don't worry. It's not like this tight, usually. We're gonna have enough space to put the API stuff back. And of course, like, have enough space to see through that other window. And you all know, it always looks crazy when we're building it. Every single time, everyone's like, what are you doing? And then it ends up coming out just beautiful, like the saltwater pond. I think a lot of people thought that was gonna fold like a lawn chair. Uh, and then it, it actually ended up working. It still is working months later. But they're connecting all the rebar now. After they're done with this, they're gonna start, like I said, on that outside wall and we'll get rolling. If I walk over here, you can see the window. That right there, the window is in, that's where it goes, and this other wall is just gonna pin right up against and the concrete will be poured around that, if that makes sense. But that is how we're looking right now. This is a big, big, big pond, guys. We're going two rebars thick up top make it even stronger because once this is relying on only that with the pressure of the water you want this as strong as possible and then in these corners here where the, the the corners are Hector actually bent these pieces like this to just provide even more strength to this pond <laughs> this thing ain't going nowhere let me tell you it's it's built different Swing got a haircut, came back, and literally an hour, they've changed the whole entire inside. I'm not sure what he's filmed on the GoPro. I know he likes to film. But my goodness, look at this. It is fully barricaded in. Uh, we have quite the structure here, boys and girls. Quite the structure. Uh, it's going to be one hell of a pond. And for the inside wall that will go right here, so we can pour the concrete in, they're building that outside right here, right now. It is crazy the amount of work that these guys are doing in just one day. Hector, how do you do it, man? We work really hard. Mucho rápido, amigo. Lo voy a cortar, lo voy a cortar. It really is impressive on just how fast these guys work. It's incredible, and it's awesome that I got them on my team because these guys have built pretty much everything. You guys have witnessed everything be built. That is the ultimate squad. They're unstoppable. It's literally unstoppable. So are our ponds. <laughs> and Brenton uh, left his life raft in the pond. Oh my gosh, if you didn't watch that video, you... Uh... <laughs> is he right? Whoa, oh! Oh, no! What even is that? <laughs> Ball? <laughs> Ball? Ball? That was interesting. We almost burnt the entire neighborhood down. Back to the pond build now though. I mean, these guys, like I said, are just crushing it. And just like that, another whole entire inside wall is done, completed. Ready to be picked up and literally just brought straight over and into here to lay right up against our window. Straight up, concrete be poured and it's just gonna secure all around. I mean, this, this pond is big too. Look how tall it is. That is, 
above my shoulders and I'm 7'1". I actually don't know how tall, I think I'm 6'2". To give you an idea on how tall this is, that's how tall it is. Oh, oh yeah, no, that, that I like is, this. That is different. That is way different, oh wow. Come to this side so you can see the window. Wow, that is cool. What do you uh, call that? I, it is, it's a big Mama Mima Grande for sure. <laughs> it's tall. It's, it's so tall, tall, it's bro. tall, bro. I don't think people understand how big this mom no, no, is. No, 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 because I'm seven foot four, so think about that. It's tall. It's so funny you said that. I literally just said, as a joke, that I'm seven two. <laughs> That's, it's not a joke. You're right. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Come on in. I gotta try that now. There's daddy. What? <laughs> big. Isn't that insane? Lay in there. Yeah, I mean, you could literally like, uh... Oh yeah, dude. That is so sick. It's tall. It's gonna be a lot of gallons because of how tall it is. Wow. What do you think we put in it? Dude, okay. Ah, that's hard. I mean, you could go, you could go fresh or salt, but now you got like the colony of salt over there. And Feeling like the salt side, you know? That's like the salt vibe. I mean, it would be always a cool idea to do fresh water in here, but those freshwater fish and do sharks in there because that's a circle. I know, dude. That would be cool. I don't know what to do. Keep commenting down below. Give me some ideas. There's a lot to pick from, but this pond is coming along great. They're finishing up the walls right now outside. First wall is going in. It's starting to rain. And we got the concrete coming in. We cannot get this stuff wet. Well, if it drizzles, it's fine, but we're loading up the concrete. Uh, tomorrow is the day that we're gonna be putting all of the concrete into the building and start pouring. But it's crazy because they're going to be hand mixing every single one of these bags. Hector, you ready for that? I'm ready. <laughs> Always I'm ready. Brother. It's crazy. These guys have got so much energy. But they're cranking through. All this is going to get covered with a tarp so rain doesn't, you know, make it dry concrete. 224. Yeah, no? 224. Yeah. 224 concrete. What's 224 times 60? That's how much weight you guys have lifted today. All that concrete is going to go right in here tomorrow i forgot to show you guys how crazy it looks now that the braces are down so they had to actually put a piece of wood right here drill it into the concrete just in case there's any sort of wanted to warp obviously it probably won't but we're extra safe here popped one of these boards off drilled a screw in every single one of the under boards let me get up here and show you guys what we're looking like <whistles> now we're talking now we're talking you see the window in there so all this concrete is just gonna go down underneath and just around the window and that'll form that window hole. As you can see, we are fully ready to go. We're ready to pour concrete. It is gonna be an epic day tomorrow and that's obviously in the next video. We've got all the braces in the middle. Smash that like button, Caferos, because this one is definitely one of the biggest ponds yet, if not the biggest. I'm not exactly sure until it's really done, like I can do the measurements without the wood there, but this is the biggest one from my knowledge as of right now. So tall, it's ridiculous, look at that. That's where the top of the concrete will be. It is going to be epic, no matter what we end up doing with it, salt water, fresh water, whatever that is. Make sure, of course, to comment uh, your opinion, what you think we should do. Just go through a bunch of these comments and get a little second option. But this baby mama, big baby mama, is almost done. And I could not be any happier with the outcome thus far. Concrete tomorrow, that is next video, so not tomorrow, but the next day we're posting every other day until this pond is done. Subscribe down below with your notifications on so you don't miss that video. And uh, of course, smash the like button. We need them likes. We need the algorithm to help pay for these things. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.